Hello and welcome back to Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, we went to arguably the worst stage in Sonic Story, Casinoopolis. This time, we're actually going to go to a good level. So, let's go down this alley, this shady-ass alley, pick up this ice stone, and if the camera wants to cooperate with us, we will be on our fucking way. <clears throat> Obviously, the camera in this game isn't that great, mainly because, like, Obviously, it was the first true 3D Sonic game, so, you know, they really didn't have anything prior to base a camera system off of. They tried their best. They really did, and for the most part, the camera is actually decent. It's just in some areas, it gets really wonky. But then again, what do you expect from a game that came out in 1998? All games back then had camera issues, so I'm not going to fault the game for that. Anyway, <clears throat> here we are. In the ice palace of wonder and amazement or some shit. I don't know. I don't fucking know, mate. This area is actually really cool. I'm just making sure there's nothing in this pool that I'm gonna miss. Because I know in Big Saw. Because I'm pretty sure in Big Story there's a actually like a power up down there. So, I wanted to make sure it wasn't the same for Sonic. Okay, so now we're in Ice Cap Zone. The first snow level in a 3D Sonic game. And our, our mission is the same. To get the Chaos Emeralds. I am on icicles. Now see... Now see, we're back to actually playing Sonic Adventure. Not playing fucking Sonic Spinball. I'm sorry, I know, I spent a lot of t Oh, Jesus! I know, I spent a lot of time in the last episode bitching about Casinoopolis and how stupidly designed it was because it's not an actual stage. It's literally just pinball for like 10 minutes. But anyway, I'm done about that. I'm done going on about that. Maybe. Casinoopolis still sucks. Oh. Oh, grab that, grab it, grab it. Oh, got it. But no, this stage is actually good. Because, you know, it's an actual stage and it lets you go fast. And, uh, yeah, it's good. It's fun, I like it. Oh, don't fail me now, camera. This stage is actually quite treacherous. Because it's mostly on, like, cliffs and, like, hillsides and, you know... Places where you could easily fall off. Spin Dash! Spin Dash! The Spin Dash in the Sonic Adventure games is probably the best Spin Dash in any Sonic game besides, like, Sonic 2 and 3, the original Spin Dash. Like, it's amazing. It's, like, instantaneous, and it gives you such a boost of speed, and it's really fun to use. I don't understand... Well, I understand nowadays why they don't really bother with the spin dash because of the whole boosting thing, but like, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, why couldn't they make the same kind of spin dash as the Sonic Adventure games? Like, come on guys, the spin dash in these games is fucking amazing, like, holy shit. I actually like the spin dash in the original Sonic Adventure, this one, more so than in uh, Adventure 2. Mainly because the one in Adventure 2 is kind of delayed a little bit. Like, it takes a while to get going. In this one, it's like instantaneous. As soon as you hold down the button, he starts charging up. As soon as you let go, he goes off. In Adventure 2, it takes like a second to, once you start holding the button, to actually have Sonic start revving up the spin dash. So, in Adventure 2, it feels a lot slower than it should. <laughs> yeah, the Spin Dash feels a lot slower than it should uh, in Adventure 2. But in Adventure 1, they nailed it. They fucking nailed it. Like, it's actually the perfect Spin Dash. Obviously, you know, nothing will be as good as the original games. Like, Sonic 2 and 3 Spin Dash is fucking, like, literally the perfect game mechanic for this style of game. 
but Adventure 1 Spin Dash is a close second. Okay. Yeah! Oh yeah, I also... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just talking about Sonic games and not bringing up what's actually happening in this game. We literally just snowboarded down a mountain. It was awesome. <laughs> you should fucking join the military. You can get all the food you want. Yeah, really? Yeah. And you could also do shit like this. Ah, that sounds awesome. Because yes. Now I hope there's a cutscene. Ah, shit. <laughs> I was hoping there was a cutscene so I could start eating my pop tart, but I guess the pop tart will have to wait. Sorry, buddy. I don't even know where we're supposed to. Going now. I guess I gotta go find to call. Cause like, where the f what the fuck's happening now? <gasps> Wait a sec. I think I know. Hold on. Yeah, knuckles. What's up, knuckles? What up, knuckles? Oh, you're trying to kill me. Cool. No time for game, Sonic. Give me the emerald you have right now. Oh, okay. All right. What? Apparently, uh, Knuckles making some pretty sh serious demands here. Shit's going down, yo. All right, I have to fight him. Boom, oh, no. done. Boom, oh, no. done. Give it your Boom, oh, no. done. <laughs> okay. Why did I even have to do that? What was the point of that shit? Like, I literally beat his ass in like less than 10 seconds. And now Eggman's stealing both of our emeralds because Knuckles is a fucking idiot. Oh man, this fucking game. No, really Knuckles. Oh my fucking god, Knuckles, why? Right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. I think the obvious answer is yes. Way to go, Knucklehead. Yeah, way to go, fuckface. <laughs> I have four lovely emeralds. Stop. Chaos. Oh no. Holy shit! These are for you, my friend. Is that Chaos 2? Huh. Yeah, I think that's Chaos 2. And, and that must be Chaos 4 then. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Nope. Because you're Sonic the Hedgehog. You piece of garbage. Is it Chaos 4? Yep. It's like Super Saiyan 4, except not a monkey or a Saiyan. Hang on. Boom! Dead. This is actually one of the better boss fights in the game. This one's actually really fun. And it's in a really unique location. Like, I just want to know how we got here to begin with. Like, how do we get in this swamp? Last time I checked, there wasn't a swamp in the middle of the fucking Mystic Ruins. Not where we were, at least. So, like... How the fuck did we get here? Why am I trying to... Why am I trying to think logically when I'm playing a Sonic game? Nothing makes fucking sense! Literally nothing makes fucking sense! I'm probably going to drown. Okay. Again, not a difficult boss fight, but a fun one nonetheless. None of the boss fights in this game are honestly that difficult. Like, a lot of them are really easy. Even the final boss with Eggman in Sonic Story is really fucking easy. Other than the final part, which could literally fuck you over in, like, one, an instant if you fuck up. But... Other than that, 
Like, even Chaos's final form isn't that difficult. So yeah, this game doesn't have the most difficult boss fights, but they are fun and nonetheless. So, we beat Chaos for like the fucking third time? No, we didn't fight him after the first time. We just saw him transform. Okay, so that was the second time we'd beaten Chaos then. And trouble. I'm gonna take this opportunity to eat some of my Pop-Tart because I'm fucking hungry. I apologize for the crinkling. S'mores Pop-Tarts. Oh my god, they're so good! There was a lot of marshmallow in that bite. Until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> oh yeah, like you know French Eggman. Fuck off. I probably made myself sound like an idiot there. But what the fuck ever? Oh god, no. You guys go. I forgot. The tornado segment. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. This pop tart's fucking delicious. Oh man! Now I can play as Knuckles! We'll get there eventually. Next time on Sonic Adventure. We'll go follow the egg carrier. And I will continue eating this Pop-Tart because it's fucking delish. So, we'll see you next time.